You know what's so annoying when you start recording a video and you're like, perfect, this is going great, and then the SD card flashes and you're just like, fuck. Kia ora everyone, hi, my name is Caroline, welcome back to Minimal Abroad, thank you so much for watching, and also hello to all the new subscribers, thank you so much, it's so cool that you're here with me on this fun and sort of awkward journey, it's a good time. Today I really want to talk to you about minimalism and sort of my, my journey with it, uh, it has been quite a few years, I'm not perfect, lots of things have happened, and I think with minimalism it's one of those topics that can be quite subject of what you think what minimalism is. So this is just my take. Your take could be different on what minimalism is. Minimalism could be essentialism to you. It could mean a whole sort of different type of other things. But really this is just sort of my story, my journey, and how I feel about minimalism. So here we go. I just want to say saddle up and get a coffee because that's all I can I can really warn you about. So basically minimalism sort of started for me around the years of 2014-2015, I can't quite remember which year, but I do know that it started with a documentary, which is so cliche to say because I know a lot of people who love minimalism got into minimalism because of this, and basically the documentary that was put out called Minimalism uh, by Joshua Fields Milbourne and Ryan Nicodemus, that was brought out, oh, I can't remember if it was 2014 or 2015, but I know that it was out on Netflix, and I know that when I watched it, I sort of, sort of like blew my mind, <laughs> basically, because there was something, something I sort of felt growing up, and I can't really quite explain it, um, but I've sort of had this thing always that I would love things just to be easy and streamlined, and I don't have to care about what I'm taking away, or I don't have to care about, um, all these different clothes in my wardrobe and trying to find things that work for me. It was, I don't know what it was, but I've sort of had that thing my whole life. And to be honest, my whole life, I mean, I'm not a very tidy person. I'm quite messy. And so I had a lot of stuff growing up, especially when I was a teenager. Um, and really what I was doing was I was just tidying. I wasn't really, really getting rid of things. I was just sort of tidying it away and sort of stashing things, just trying to make it look good. But I wasn't really getting rid of stuff that I didn't need. I don't know what that, what that was, but there's always been that sort of inkling in me to do something like that, but I just never had the word for it, nor really the method for it. So when the documentary came out, I was just blown away because I was like, this is sort of something I think I've been looking for, for my whole life. Um, I don't know how, it's just, it's just something that was really in me to, to sort of feel. And so basically when that happened, I mean, it was, a, a, minimalism to me is just such a long journey and I think a lot of people feel that minimalism is about not having anything, it's about having the clothes on your back, it's about literally spending no money, it's about having nothing, I think, is what a lot of people feel uh, minimalism is essentially about feeling like there's a lack or feeling like there has to be a lack or you have to live with that and it's just so not the case. My sort of take on on minimalism really is around the word freedom and it's sort of funny because you think well if you're saying no to things if you're getting rid of things you are living in sort of that kind of mode of without or lack of or scarcity when that's really not what it is about to me it is all about living your life with the things that actually give you value, or things that you value, you really enjoy, you love looking at, you love using, things that are really, um, just, just give you a lot of joy, I think it is. And so, <laughs> and I know everything's come out now with the whole Marie Kondo and Spark Joy and all that, I, to be honest, love her, think she's great, she's so cute. And I think what she's doing is really fantastic, but even itself, with that particular sort of series that came out on Netflix, there's a lot of back and forth between minimalists and Marie Kondo people, so it is, it is quite a fascinating topic um, to do everything one round with stuff. Honestly, I have felt many times in my life where stuff has just really overwhelmed me. Even now, when I know that like I actually don't have many things, I know that my boyfriend has way more clothes than me, <laughs> I know that he has way more kind of personal items than me, way more paper items than me, way more all these other things, but yet somehow I'm like, oh, I feel like I just have too many things. And it's not that I've got too many things. I think I've got a few things at the moment which aren't giving me value or which I am finding, like, I'm not wanting to deal with, I'm not wanting to look at, I'm not wanting to sort out. And um, 
it's kind of funny how that sort of goes in waves and bounds. Uh, like uh, recently I've purchased a few new clothes and I loved it. Um, I love the clothes I have now. Um, but there's still a few things that I want to get and I think it's sort of that there will always be when you are a minimalist that whole thing of I really really want it but do I actually need it? And so I think what minimalism has made me be is more intentional with what I have. Like definitely now, I don't I don't buy makeup unless I've run out or I really need it or something smashed all over the floor and I cannot fix it. Uh, that's all the reason why I'd go out and buy buy new makeup. I've really kind of honed in. Even my parents said when they're here because they're here in the UK at the moment visiting me, and <laughs> we were we were in boots. We were looking down the makeup aisle and there's like I really wanted to look at the it Cosmetics foundation or whatever they had. And I looked at it and I tried it on. I'm like, actually, no, I'm going to wait until I finish up the BB cream that I already have. And mum and dad are a bit shocked because they're like, she doesn't really do that. <laughs> That's not her. But the thing is, that is so me now. And I think it's because I've sort of realised that there are just things I don't need. And it's just all because I think I need it. And I think it will give me joy, but it won't. So sort of with minimalism and how it sort of really kicked into gear for me was when... So I watched the documentary... Um, it really spun something in me. I started really thinking about what it is that I really wanted. And then eventually when the relationship that I was in in 2015 broke up, um, that sort of really kicked me into gear because I had to move out of the apartment that we had. Um, I had to move back into my mum and dad's house. So I had to really kind of downsize things. And then again, I had to move again to my internship in Wellington. So I had to really downsize things. And it was, it was quite funny. I thought that I didn't actually have that much stuff. And then my dad, because <laughs> me and my dad, my dad was helping me, bless him, he's lovely. He actually um, helped me sort of move all the boxes and everything, because we had like a moving company, but take all my stuff to Wellington, and I was like, oh, I didn't realise that I had, I thought I had had like six or seven boxes, and I had like 12 or something, it was super weird. <laughs> um, so when I actually moved to Wellington was when I really started thinking about what it is that I wanted to keep within me and my sort of personal possessions. And then as the years sort of have gone on and I realised that I was moving here, um, I'm no longer single again, I was someone else, and it was quite funny because i got to tell you when my partner did move in with me for the first time and he brought a big TV and I had my room perfectly how I wanted it to be, <laughs> and he moved his big TV in and, and all these things and he put all of the stuff in the wardrobe and I'm not going to lie, a part of me just went, because it was just so much more stuff than I was used to and I had gotten myself used to having in my life and it was all the things that I really liked and so but hey that's just what it is when you fall in love with someone they come into your life and all of this stuff also comes into your life <laughs> but anyway, anyway when we, um, we moved to the UK uh, that was when we really got every, rid of everything and I tell you what I love throwing stuff away now love it it was so much fun getting rid of everything putting everything into we literally fit all of the things that we wanted into a big suitcase each and a small sort of carry-on bag each as well and that was so wonderful <laughs> so wonderful um feels so good and really what i would love to do is to be able to have all my sort of belongings down to kind of one bag of the things i really really love and also the the clothes that i really love to wear and you know now it is a process i will at some point do a kind of a bit of a current wardrobe update sort of thing uh, with you of what's currently going on at the moment and obviously there'll be things I get rid of but that is sort of how I, I'm feeling and I, I've been looking more into van life and trying to convince Jamal that we should buy a van and do it up <laughs> and I don't know if it's really working but I love that stuff we have always been we always love the idea of tiny living and container houses and sort of tiny houses and um, I'm so glad that I found someone who finds that as appealing as I do because it is really something I want to be able to do in my life is to have a house and to just have the space we need to live in. Um, it's so minimalism is sort of just something that I think has given me not just more focus on my physical positions and what I own and, and giving me so much more intentionality when I'm purchasing something. I have noticed that now when it comes to gift giving and gift buying, I actually hate just buying things. I would rather buy like concert tickets or um, you know buy uh, take someone out for a meal as opposed to actually buying them something because I just I just feel like what I give them probably won't be valuable to them as much as I think it will be and I feel like an experience is so much more uh, so that's sort of how I'm how I'm going at the moment so buying gifts I was a shit gift giver anyway so now that I'm like oh, I actually don't want to um, I don't want to really buy anyone anything it's kind of more difficult because now I've got to think about 
tickets and what they actually like so <laughs> it's sort of a give and take with it but yeah I think it has had such a good a real positive impact on me understanding that I can be totally happy with less stuff it has been so freeing to go do you know what I actually don't need that extra pair of heels I actually don't need to buy that really trendy top I don't need to have all of these things to feel like someone or to feel important or to feel like I'm impressing someone and it is, it's quite, I, don't, I can't quite explain what the feeling is, it's sort of like, it is, it's just freedom, it, it truly is, just to feel, feel better with, with having less and knowing that everything that you have in your wardrobe is perfect and fine, you don't need to replace it, you don't need to do anything unless you have to replace it, so yeah, I don't know, it's just really exciting and it's something I would love to, for you guys to try out and just sort of dabble into, maybe read up a few more articles on it, watch the documentary on it as well. And so when I was coming into minimalism and also looking into sort of travel, because I was traveling a lot, um, and especially I remember, <laughs> I do remember this one story when I was, it was back in 2012, I was traveling with my, my ex-boyfriend, well, my ex-boyfriend now, boyfriend at the time, and I'm having to put everything in a backpack and really trying to figure out what it is that I wanted to take with me, and it was super difficult. And eventually, like, ugh, my pack was so heavy, so heavy, I can't even explain to you. I hated putting it on because I just knew that it was just, I just couldn't handle carrying it. Um, I remember when we got to Rome or Venice, somewhere along those lines, and we packaged up a whole bunch of stuff and had to send it home. And I realized, like, oh my god, I was carrying around all the stuff I totally didn't need. Like, it's just, <laughs> I remember that it was so kind of like one of those Oprah aha moments. I'm like, why am I doing this? Why do I need to feel like I need to bring that? So, yeah, and that was kind of way before, like, I sort of kicked really into gear of what I thought minimalism or didn't know really what the word was for it. So, now my life is sort of, with minimalism, I'm very kind of conscious and aware of what I bring into our space and our room. Me and Jamal have talked about when we move to our new place, what we're going to bring into it, what we love. We've even looked at sort of furniture and reusing things and how we want to decorate. And I think I've rubbed it off on him as well because I know that he has gotten rid of a lot of stuff since I've been with him. And um, he's sort of really thinking about what it is that we want in our space, which is really awesome. So yeah, I think I really just... I think that minimalism has been such a blessing in my life to be honest to have something to put a name to what it is that I have been feeling in me for a long time and now with travel and this channel it is really awesome to be able to communicate and put out the, all these things I feel about minimalism and I won't deny there are some cons there are some things that I've struggled with I mean even though I do have a very few items like when I do like if I need to go away if I need to travel somewhere it is always like, oh, do I really need to bring that? What if I just do this? And I spend quite a long time trying to make sure that I bring what I need to bring. Um, so even though like it is easier with less stuff, sometimes for me I do get a bit caught up in it, but it has made it so much more convenient for me to just have what I have and know what I love wearing than it does if I had like closets and closets filled with shit. <laughs> so uh yeah it's not all, it's not all like roses again as I said it's been a journey for me for the last five years trying to make sure that um I'm being more intentional with what I use and now that I've kind of cottoned on to that whole intentionality of it a lot of it is also now kind of moving towards this more sustainable thing at the moment um that me and Jamal are sort of really thinking about is more of the environment sustainability and how we can be better towards the planet um but it's really kind of gotten into us now to think about, really think about what it is that we want and how we're going to get there the best, most sustainable way possible. So yeah, that really is minimalism for me, um, how I got into it, the future, how I feel about it, my thoughts. I mean, it really is having what you value in your life. And it, don't get me wrong, if you value like books. If you love books, if you love all these different things, all the books you love, reading them, the smell of the paper, all of that stuff, then have those books. Minimalism isn't about going without 
all it is is about living with less but living with the things that you love so if you really value books if you really value like ceramic cats I'm not quite sure what you're <laughs> what you're into and what you love but if you have those things it doesn't mean need you need to get rid of them at all it just means getting rid of the excess stuff so that you have more room and more space to do the things you love and to, to feel good in the space that you have and to feel less cluttered and less overwhelmed, less claustrophobic. So yeah, that's what it, that's what it is. It doesn't mean that you have to be a monk. Um, <laughs> you don't have to like, you know, I think there is a big difference between minimalism and essentialism and essentialism to me and my understanding of it, I could be completely wrong, please give me your own opinion, uh, is really about just, I think essentialism is about having the essentials, no fun things, no <laughs> like, no stuff like your clothes, the toothbrush, um, and that's it. Like that's sort of how I feel like essentialism is, but minimalism is just having, living with less with the things that you love, so you have more space to do what you love as opposed to being overwhelmed with all your possessions. In a nutshell, hopefully that makes sense. But I think this is going to be a really long family video, so thank you for sticking with me. That's sort of my journey of going through a breakup, really understanding, traveling, and um, really coming to terms with the fact that you can be just as happy without, um, and even more so happy without, than if you did do a lot of purchasing and impulse buying. Um, so yeah, uh, I would love to know your thoughts on minimalism, please let me know in the comments, um, I'd love to know if you've got started, how you got started, um, tell me your most favourite thing that you value and it'll be so amazing to hear from you and thank you for watching, hope you have a wonderful day, bye!